We are back with the deciding game 3, who is gonna get the trophy, Blunder or Soul and Smoktus Finals, this time Gen 7 or you obviously the deciding game. Not a bad matchup for Blunder, um, Alakazam can become a threat, especially if Celestia gets knocked off by either the Torn or the Tangros. And the Torn is also a nuisance for Soul and I guess he has to kinda rely on Pex to check it because he doesn't want Celestia to get knocked off. And yeah, Torn and Celestia both deal with the Kartana. Blunder Celestia can deal with the Megalodi. Um, like Steeler plus Torn can just deal with a lot of Sovin's team. The Bulu is pretty much kept in check. And the Heatran can become a huge nuisance. So turn one Blunder goes in the Heatran. I assume Sovin stayed in because he's probably Payapa Pex and he wanted to toxic the Zem so if the Zem Megaset gets put on a timer. And going Heatran there was a no was a completely was a fire play because he was either going to go Celestila, predicting the Zam to go for Psychic, or if he's Payapa, he's going to stay into Toxic. And Heatran pretty much covered all options, and I assume Blunder's just going to get the rocks up, because Heatran is his only potential rocker. Uh, Sovin doesn't want to stay in here, he's most likely just going to go to Megalodi, um, because he obviously doesn't want to stay in on a potential Magma Storm Heatran and loses Toxapex, because if he loses his Toxapex, the Tornadus becomes more annoying, and even the Seller Stealer becomes annoying uh, for Sowen if he loses Toxapex. Because Toxapex can be a good pivot for Leech Seed and it can try to throw off Skulls and burn something. Even though if uh, Seller Stealer ever Leech Seeds the Toxapex, Heatran can come in on Pex if it's Leech Seeded. So now Blunder has to switch. Uh, most likely to the Seller Stealer, he obviously doesn't want to take a potential Earthquake. Sowen throws off a Psychic just in case Blunder goes to something like uh, Tang. I assume we're just going to see a Leech Seed here. And um, Sovin goes to Landris, which I'm a bit surprised by that he doesn't go to Pex, but I assume he just wants to get up his own rocks. Now Blunder can just go for Heavy Slam here, get some good damage. Sovin is going to switch out here, so Blunder can double Leech Sheet predicting that, or he can um, potentially double out predicting the Pex, but he just Leech Sheets again. Now he has a few plays, he can go Alakazam play it safe, he can go into his um, own Toxic Pex or Tran. Um, now he can either go back to Celesteela or he can fire off a Shadow Ball with the Zam. He does Mega, I assume he just went for Shadow Ball. Goes for Hidden Power. Is that Hidden Power Ice, I think? Uh, which we have seen lately a few times in Sun and Moon Oye because he can check Gliss score. So it goes in the Tango, anticipating the lead sheet. And now we can just click Knock Off here because either something loses the item or Megalady gets chipped uh, with Rocks and Knock Off, which pretty much forces the Megalady to go for Recover. Pex comes out, so Pex is going to lose the Black Sludge here most likely. Oh, it's Payapa? No, it's Black Sludge. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised that he stayed in on the Zam earlier if he's not Payapa Berry. So Skull most likely gonna come out here from Solvent, gonna try to burn something. Uh, Blunder goes to his own packs, and yeah, now we have packs on packs, which means they're just gonna exchange Skulls. <laughs> and eventually one of them is gonna switch out. Uh, if Solvent wants to switch, like it's a bit risky for Solvent to go hard Lari and a potential Toxic, so I think Solvent, yeah. The thing is, Solvent has like... This is not too good for Sovin in the long run because his doesn't have Black Sludge, which means his Toxapex gets chipped every turn. Blunder has uh, Black Sludge to cancel out the burn. But yeah, if Blunder wants to pull a switch, it would be probably into the Zam eventually. And if Sovin wants to pull a switch, most likely into Ladi. But like I said, I don't know if Sovin wants to risk that. But if Blunder stays in sooner or later, Sovin is going to have to switch. Because Blunder's Pex has not uh, used any recovers yet, I think. And Sovin has used one recover already. And like I said, Sowens doesn't have Black Sludge to pack, so it's getting chipped a little bit every turn. So yeah, nice Skull Spam. So we see uh, 15 recovers, and yeah, no recovers used on Blunder's side. 21 Skulls left, so if they really stay in here, <laughs> it can potentially get boring, but you guys got to smoke this chat to read if this is too repetitive for you, so you're gonna be fine, it's not gonna get boring. Um, well... If Blunder eventually goes Zam, which could be a play, then he tries his Regenerator. Um, yeah, I guess Tang or Torn are also potential pivots, but I, I don't think you want to go Torn, because Torn can be quite important, so that Celestealer doesn't get overwhelmed. Like, Blunder Celestealer doesn't want to get overwhelmed. Like, it can check all the mons, like Ladi, Bulu, and Kartana, but you have to be careful that you don't get overwhelmed. So if this gets a burn, that would be good for Blunder. Yep, that burn helps him. Because now he can't get toxic and this is scared out, so I assume he's just gonna fire off a psychic or he goes for recover. Okay, so his HP has recover, I assume psychic and focus blast. And he also did he trace region? Yeah, so his Zam is now at full. He goes in the tangles. He always goes tangles on Celestila. That way Solvent can never lead sheet any health back. Because um, yeah, and if Blunder can chip the Celestila more than his Alakazam can win late game. So now Solon has to switch out their scouting for Sludge Bomb. 
yeah, that's run sometimes to deal with um, SD Bulu. So Blunder is prepped for SD Bulu and he's spamming such one here, I assume, just to try and get the poison on the Ladi. Uh, he doesn't get it though. Someone doesn't want to risk it, goes Pex anticipating another Sludge Bomb. And Blunder can probably switch out into Alakazam here now that he's burned and he every time traces Regenerator when he comes in on the Toxic Packs and he can't get Toxic, which is cool because the burn nerf really helps the Alakazam here. So Bulu comes out, uh, good play by Sowen expecting the Zam, but now Blender can go Tangros or Steeler or Torn. He has a lot of checks for this. Goes Tangros, Superpower comes out, does a good chunk. I don't know if that's Bandit. Pro I don't think that's Bandit. But yeah, Blender pivots out into Tornadoes in case Superpower comes out again. He can just U-turn here. Oh, he hard switches, okay. Hard switches into Celestia yeah, means he might not have U-turn on the Torn. Maybe he's a knockoff Superpower Defog variant with Hurricane or something like that. So every time uh, Celestia comes out, Blunder goes into Tangos, as you can see, to block the lead sheet. And Celestia takes rocks, which cancels out the leftovers recovery, the two turns of leftovers recovery. And yeah, you can just spam knockoff. He can potentially also double out into Zam here, predicting the Toxic packs, but he doesn't have to, yeah. He just goes for knockoff again. Now he's gonna switch to his own packs or Heatran here. Uh, well, Zam is also an option. Uh, so when doubles into Bulu, expecting the Zammer. So one can click, I guess, Honey or Woodhammer here. Blunder's gonna switch to either Tangros or Torn. Goes hard Tangros. Can eat up any hit. Has the regenerator. Megahorn. Oof. Gets him there. Good play by Sowind. Gets the Tangros no low, so now Silla Stealer or um, Tornadoes are gonna come out. I don't know what Katana. What he predicted there. Oh, Heatran comes out. Okay. I don't know what he predicted there by going Katana. I guess if he's all out pummeling, this threatens the Heatran. So Blunder's probably gonna switch out here. No, okay. Um, I guess it's kind of obvious that the Katana is probably Choice Scarf on Sowin's side because the lander was the rocker. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Blunder has a Lava Plume Trim, but it's Corkscrew Crash and it's able to trap the, the Megalodi. So I guess it was to Blunder it was obvious that the uh, Katana is probably Scarf and not Z-Move. Uh, for a second I thought it could be Z-Move, but yeah, it makes sense if you think about it. So now Sowin doubles out into Tapu Bulu expecting the um, Alakazam to come out, but Blunder just Earth Powers again. Like Blunder, I know he doesn't have Magma Storm, so he doesn't trap the packs, but he doesn't lose anything from Earth Powering there. He has the black, he has the grassy terrain on his side, so his trend technically has leftovers at the moment. And just Earth Powering and potentially wasting recovers from the packs doesn't hurt for Blunder, so there was a completely fine pay to play to just Earth Power. And so when it's forced back out, I assume Blunder's just gonna lava plume here. Yup. Completely fine for Blunder. Um, so Megalad is already dead, which was like the best Heatran answer. I mean, at least it's not Magma Storm for Solvent. This is like okay, but it's still gonna be annoying. And now it's in off power range. And um, he might wanna go into his um, Lando here predicting the off power. If Blunder goes for Lava Pool predicting that, would be a clutch play, but I don't think he has to predict. Yeah, he just plays safe. I think Blunder can afford to play safe. He's in a really good position. So I'm most likely gonna see a U-turn here, or maybe a SD if it's an offensive Lando. Double out into Pex to get, re to get region back. Okay, makes sense as well. So Blunder can just protect here, get some health back, or he can throw up... Okay, he goes hard into Zama, okay. I thought protect would have been the play there, just to get extra lefties, but it really doesn't matter too, too much. So Bulu uh, expecting the Zam to come out, good play on so inside. Uh, I assume we're gonna see a Horn Leech here, because... No, he doubles in the status dealer. I thought he would want to get some health back. Wait, was the... I'm not sure, if the Alakazam would have killed with Psychic from there, then, then my bad. But I thought the Bulu was out of range, and he could have potentially Horn Leech there. Um, but I, I guess he's offensive bully, he's not AV, so yeah, Psychic probably would have killed there. Blunder is most likely running his calcs, he knows what he's doing. So he goes in the taunt and not uh, wanting to lose the Tangros. Uh, that's doing a lot, yeah. That's uh, Helmet Bulu, which means... Helmet Torn, which means it's probably max HP, I assume. He, if he's not U-turn, he's probably gonna double out again. He's Heatwave, okay. So Heatwave, I was thinking maybe earlier it could have been Superpower, but it's Heatwave. Um, so misses a Hurricane there, I assume we're gonna see a Skull, tries to get the burn there. So Stia is getting chipped, you can see 59, which means after Rox is at 47, so this Alakazam can definitely win for Blunder in the long run. Yeah, like, it's it's looking rough or so, and Zam comes out, trades the region. The thing is, I'm, like, trying to explain everything, but they're playing so fast, so you can just throw off a Psychic here. And, yeah, the, um, Blunder obviously knows his, his calcs that the Bulu is offensive, so he knows that Alakazam probably would have killed the Bulu with Psychic. So earlier I thought it would have potentially been a misplay, but I have to take that back, my bad. So he can just knock off here. Uh, so and obviously he's gonna protect to get extra leftovers. He needs every leftover he can get with the Celestealer. Because the Celestealer is um, important to check the Zen, but it can't really do that. Rocks up, plus the Tangros to block Leech Sheet. Um, amazing for Blunder, which means Zen can win this in the long run. So someone has to switch out here. He cannot afford to let this get knocked off. He has to go into his... Toxapex, most likely Orlando. Oh, he goes Lando expecting a knockoff. 
Let's see if Blunder predicts that. Blunder goes for Giga Drain, expecting Toxic Packs or Lando to come out, because Lando would have been able to take a knockoff. Uh, I think it might be the Lando, I'm not 100% sure. Blue comes out and um, threatens the Tangos with a Mega Horn. So I don't know if Blunder wants to stay in. He goes in a tornado. Uh, it's just a sack. I'm pretty sure it's gonna die even to Megahorn. So he's gonna get Rocky Helmet on this Bulu. I don't think that crit mattered. Now he can go into um, Alakazam or yeah, Heatran Box as well. Now he can just click Lava Plume. Uh, Someone goes into Pex expecting Lava Plume. Uh, Blunder doesn't have to predict anything. He pretty much has this wrapped up with his Zammer, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So he can just click Earth Power here, and even if Soren wants to predict that and pivot out into Celesteela, I don't think that matters too, too much. So Soren clicks to recover. So this is a Lava Plume, Earth Power, Coxco Crash, Turn with Rocks. Interesting set. Uh, worked out well, and I mean, Coxco Crash is amazing to um, lure in Megalades. They usually run minus the death, so it does a lot to them. Megalady Yos especially, which is used a lot these days to check Heatran, but you can also run something like Willowis or Toxic to chip Lady. But um, Coxic Crash can, I guess, be useful versus other ones that just don't expect it. So so uh, so when pivots into Celeste Leader there, anticipating the off power, now he can protect. Um, that way he cancels out the rocks damage that he took with the leftovers. Then I can just click Lava Plume. Like so and yes, he predicted that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but then I can just Lava Plume again. So when pivots back into Toxic Bikes. And yeah, like Banda is playing obviously, but like I said, he can afford to play obviously, he doesn't have to risk anything. And Soren does back to Celestia yeah, expecting off power, so Soren is just trying to um, PP stall the Hedron. Um, he's just hoping for something at this point. I don't think he can win at all. Whenever the Zam gets in on the packs, he pretty much gets a kill with the Celestia being that low, so he can just Lava Plume again. Like, this doesn't matter, even if Soren stalls out the entire Hedron moveset, so 9 off powers left. Uh, I think 8 now, 70 Lava Plumes. So he will click to cover a few times, eventually he's probably gonna go back to Celesteela expecting Earth Power. Now Blunder's like, okay, I've had enough, I'm gonna go Zam. If Solomon goes Steela this turn, this can work out for him, but he doesn't. So now Zam pretty much gets a kill, just click Psychic here. Celesteela's probably gonna get 2-hit KO'd after rocks. Bop! 22%, so even if he protects, I'm pretty sure he doesn't live another hit. So he just clicks Psychic again here. Just in case Soen wants to, like you don't go for a recover there, you just click Psychic. Because if you recover there and Soen predicts that and Heavy Slams you in a bad spot, would have been a potential, um, like a huge misplay. So Hidden Power Eyes is there. And now Katana comes out to threaten out the Zam. Blunder can just pivot out into either Tangos or Pex to see what Katana wants to go for. And I'm pretty sure Blunder has it wrapped up, they already said GG, so it knocks off the AV. Now Tangos can go for a knockoff or Earthquake, something like that. He doubles out in the Heatran, okay, knowing that uh, Katana is locked into knockoff, Heatran would not have taken anything. Earth Powers, um, I assume we see Recover or Scald here, Scald comes out. So just Earth Powers again, I think the Bulu is super low, which means it goes down and nothing can switch in, so yeah, we have to sack something. And Zam also just wins, because he has pivots or like checks to Kartana, so he can afford to, yeah, play the way he played. So congratulations to Blunder, he finally got his trophy, happy for him. Like I said in game 2, let me know in the comments what other two games you want to see. I have Smoke Tooth, pretty much every playoff set live recorded, and yeah. I still have a lot of World Cup games, some of them I still have to narrate because I usually run between my two computers and record as much as I can. Just let me know what tournament you want to see, OST, Smoke Toast, World Cup, etc. And you guys will get that. Thank you for watching, Grats Blunder, and peace out friends. Smash that like button. Goodbye.